Plup, Plup sticking with the Fox. All right. Uh, he had he had a good setup last time. So and his Fox is definitely very 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 uh, well played. Just so methodical. His his uh, movement is one of the things that I've noticed about Plup. We notice he's, he's he baits. Oh, uh, you can't you can't avoid that. Can't beat Let's the Let's see if he can get in for the damage. Up, up air, back air. Very nice. Second back air. If you don't DI that up throw rest, that'll be the whole game. And yeah. Cobol knew how to handle that very well. Uh, Ooh, very good DI for the up throw rest. He's, he's got to be super careful with those platforms. Uh, Hbox obviously looking for the up tilt. He wants that up tilt rest. Uh, at this at this percentage might be a little too much. Plop is just spacing him out, looking to convert. Wow, right, right on him. Bringing down a shield and an up, up smash. smash. For the first stock. He did take quite a bit of percentage though off that last one. Indeed. Although that does keep him out of the rest range. But oh, unfortunately. Xbox with the wild pain. Total destruction. <laughs> right, let's see if uh, if he can prevent a gimp right now. Setting wow. up for the jab. Jab. Reset. jab re yeah. To jab rest. and arrest. And, Plup. and Plup just jabbing him out of his sleep. Uh, a little demoralized, probably. Doesn't look very enthusiastic this round, but we'll see. We've seen better from Plup. And I think Hbox knows this quite well, and he wants vengeance against Kobol. He wants to get back to that grand finals. Wow, great, great forward smash. Going for those hard reads. Yeah. <laughs> Plup again, still trying to convert Hbox at up smash percentage. And it looks like he will not get no, it. Great. this. Oh, wow. side of nowhere. recovery. Oh. No, that, that, that is. Side B's right back. Wow. Plup really, really making it a, a strong effort, making it back on. This is a still an uphill battle for him, but there is always a chance. This is Smash Brothers Melee. We've this seen game. bigger comebacks than this. Indeed. <laughs> and Hbox. No, great, great uh, forward tilt by Puff there. Forward tilting and finishing it off. All right, game one goes to uh, Hbox. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm sorry. What was your gamer tag, man? Quaza. Quaza. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Where did, what area are you from? Uh, played in Gainesville. Now in Orlando. Gainesville. So, very yeah. Oh, I'm in Orlando as well. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's good to hear. So game two, we're gonna go to Switch to Samus. Now I think I think Plup probably feels a lot more natural here. Uh, maybe he wanted to, to test it out, see if his fox would be enough. But um, um de I bet he was definitely thinking of um, the match Mewtwo King had against Fox, right? Where he just went ham on Hungrybox. I mean, right? On Yo especially on Yoshi stories, it was it was fantastic. But yeah, although the, the beauty here, it's it's much harder to get those rests off as Puff on Samus. Absolutely. Um, you can't can't get that easy little up throw or up tilt into rest. Plum. Although you can very easily get forward aired off the stage here, especially on a small stage like Yoshi's. Up really changing the metagame for yeah. ledge, ga uh, ledge guards with his uh, chain grab on the ledge. He's got great, great metagame developing his back airs and his forward airs, just returning back on the ledge and oh, getting it, good stage position. His, his Samus is a force to be reckoned with, without a doubt. All these wave lands off the tops that, of that the platforms. Up, yeah, that up throw is not going to get him much, unfortunately. Hbox needs to. Uh, you know, hop back. All right, we're, get, we're getting Raceland back on the, the commentary here. Apparently pulled away by a team's match. So, uh, did I miss anything good? <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, game one went to uh, Hbox, as you all saw earlier. Uh, Plup's Fox not doing enough. Looks like his Samus is having a bit of a rough time as well. Uh, Hbox just really asserting his dominance on such a small stage. Uh, these, these up throws just really piling on the percentage. So what did you say the set count is right now? Uh, it is 1-0 Hbox. Okay. Yeah. So nice. it looks like Plup took down land traps. Yeah. Uh, free of action. Wow, I'm uh, surprised at how much he's winning on this little stage. Yeah. You would uh, think it'd be so hard for Sam's to kill Jiggly Puff on the stage. I mean, he's, no, got, it, he's got nares it's and smashes and bombs. Uh, I, you know, I, I mean, that's why he picked this stage. I think he got a little demoralized after that last match. His Fox got ripped apart by uh, by uh, Hbox's Puff. So I think that was his game plan going in, and now he's kind of frustrated, maybe trying to reassess what he needs to do with Samus to I win see. this. I'm surprised he would have gone Fox against... Wow, uh, forward smash, very strong. I guess he, he, I guess he got inspired by Colin. 
Yeah. <laughs> Although, you know, HBox is very driven right now. He wants to get to Grand Finals. He wants that match yeah, against Cobol. He, he wants to run it back. He's, he hates to lose more yeah. than anybody I've ever seen. I mean, and that's a, that's not a bad trait to that's, have in that's this That's what game. drives him. Yeah, it's not a bad trait to have. He's a competitor. Absolutely. Uh, so, I mean, unless something crazy happens here, Hungerbox is going to take this match, and we're going to see a game three. Yeah. We're, uh, we, I'm, I'm feeling and I, and, and how, how poorly this worked out, I don't know where he's going to take. I would I would guess Pokemon Stadium. If uh, uh, I mean, they don't have bands in best out of five. So. No, yeah. But, uh, Pokemon Stadium seems like a solid choice. Um, it, it's it's a good Samus uh, level with the way the platforms are set up. Club might switch back to Fox. Uh, his Fox ran, match went better than his Samus match did just now. I mean... I, you're right, he might. It's, it's possible, and if he does... And, oh, he's going oh, Young Link! Oh, he's, he's doing the Armada. Oh, boy. Uh, if anybody's familiar, Armada is uh, <laughs> one of the best, nope, the best Peach player in the world. Yeah. And uh, uh, he, had, he had some trouble against HBox's Jigglypuff for a while. So what he did was he just went to Sweden, he went to the Hyperbolic Time Chamber and trained up his Young Link. Yeah. And I Came out seen as a hero of time and just put, it, put the hammer down. I, I haven't seen him lose since. The thing is, young, young Link, the, it, despite being a very uh, low-tier... Not very good character. Just is a pretty strong counter Jigglypuff because of the way his character works. Right. He plenty, has plenty of projectiles. Yeah. He has the great bombs spacing and the arrows. And if he doesn't do that, he'll be okay. He might. If, uh, he, if he had held on to a bomb there, he could have made it back. Yeah. Uh, but his projectiles attack on damage really easily. Uh, Hungerbox has spent the entire match avoiding them. And the thing is, his uh, bombs combo into his down air and up air, which are his yeah. really good kill moves. They kill a pretty low percent on Jigglypuff, which is surprisingly strong. Now, I don't uh, I so don't, I don't, know how serious Plup might be taking this one, though. I mean, we saw him kind of mess around with his young Link as kind of like a, you know... Uh, he's laughing, so... Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't I, mind getting rested. Yeah, I, I think... I think you're going to be looking for him to try and connect those bombs into some down airs. That's, that's his uh, kill. Ooh, nice, <laughs> nice down air. Just take... Just Putting the percentage. Whoa! Hungry box getting a little greedy. Not, but it's young link. Not the kill. Uh, Plup going into really, his what Plup should have done is bomb just, drops. Just up, thrown a bomb to a down air. That would have yeah. gotten the kill there. Missing and the he, down air there. He's getting greedy. Yeah. Even with the L cancel, that, that move's got a lot of lag. It's got a lot of lag. Right, it, looks, it, it looks like we're going to see a rematch with Colin and Hungry Box in Grand Finals. Uh, I'm not going to give it away immediately, be, but. Uh, <laughs> Hungry Box breaking out the rollout. You know, it seems ridiculous, but it, the move is uh, a little hard to avoid. So if people try wow. to get stage spike, if somebody tries to get a little, you know, tricky and try and actually challenge the rollout, you'll see them get hit by it sometimes. And it's a really strong move. It'll get kills. Uh, it's it's especially good in teams. Club looking to not get four stocked here. The crowd kind of kind of anticipating he, he wants, one. He wants to uh, avoid the demoralization. Yeah, that that would not be a good way to end his great run today. He's going to have to work on that pocket young link a little harder. All right, and he avoids the force stock. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> Puff picking up the bomb that was dropped <laughs> on the top she, platform. She looks ridiculous holding anything. Yeah. <laughs> Hungerbox just looking. probably just wants to move on. He's, yeah. just, he's probably already bored with this match. And want, he's thinking about his next match with Colin right now. So he kind of looks like he's an all poly right now. That tree looking a little bored in the background. <laughs> Not even bothering. Oh. No, uh, and, and that. that oh, friends, holding that in is, a little too long. That is a, uh, a set for one. And uh, Plup moves goes over. down. Third place. Uh, uh, yeah, Plup finishes 